Continue our team coverage with a look at the travel impact. CBS News John Day is live at Newark Liberty International Airport. John, good afternoon. Yeah, Mayor, good afternoon to you, too. We want, we want to get you right out here into the action, or we should say lack of action this afternoon happening here at Newark International, New York Liberty International Airport. You can see not too many people out here. The, we just got done interviewing the directors of United Airline. They told us that they have been preparing, though, for this busy holiday period for months. They say they're confident with their staffing levels and travelers we've been speaking with. Well, they are confident in their decision to fly out today to avoid the craziness and the coming days, as well as the inclement weather in the forecast. At Newark Liberty International Airport today, ahead of Thanksgiving, travelers are thankful for the short lines. They're beating the rush. How has traveling been? Has it been easier than you expected or worse? Uh, it's been okay. According to AAA and TSA, tomorrow and Wednesday are expected to be the worst times to travel this holiday season. That includes by car or plane. This New Jersey family flying to West Palm Beach planned their trip last year, traveling today to avoid the chaos. Easier to get out, and so we decided to come home <laughs> on Black Friday late night because we, we did hear about the travel situation towards the weekend. But others say they just got lucky, not realizing it will get bad in the coming days. It's an unexpected trip, actually. I just booked my flight yesterday. It's just a luck, I guess, <laughs> because we, we haven't planned it. Like, we, ha we didn't know about that, so that will be like the busiest day. AAA is predicting 55.4 million Americans will travel overall this holiday, up 2.3% from last year, with TSA expecting to screen more than 30 million travelers over the 12-day period. TSA TSA officials anticipate it will take 30 minutes to screen standard passengers, 10 for pre-check travelers, but officials with United Airlines say it's not a bad idea to arrive early. It's always good to err on the side of caution. So if you're if you're feeling a little bit stressed about security, I would say give yourself a little extra time. And tomorrow's forecasted storm could make the busiest holiday travel week even worse. While United says they're fully staffed to handle the surge of people, Mother Nature could slow things down. When we're loading bags and moving airplanes around and if there's reduced visibility that could slow us down a little bit. But from a customer standpoint we don't expect any disruption. And a live look back out here at Newark. Again, a lull when it comes to travelers right now, but that will not be the case uh, tomorrow, that's for sure. AAA is predicting that this could be its third busiest Thanksgiving travel season since it started keeping track actually back in 2000. And they say that the best time to travel is actually Thanksgiving early morning, or Mary could see right now, not a bad time to travel as well. But for now, we're pointing here live this afternoon from Newark Liberty International Airport, John Diaz, CBS 2 News. Good to see a smooth afternoon at Newark. John Diaz, thank you. Here's